repentance and true obedience to the Lord. It is by Witness Lee and his obsequious sycophants promising other people and promising themselves life while they're in sin that they've strengthened the hands of the wicked. Shame on them. Shame on them. This is very, very serious. Witness Lee's teaching on his purgatory, just like the Catholic Church's teaching on purgatory, is leading many people to have a false hope that they can continue sinning and then somehow, some way, climb out of hell and make it to be with the Lord forever. That is exactly what they're doing. They're giving people a false hope, promising them life and strengthening their hands to sin. And that is absolutely evil. That is of the devil. Absolutely of the devil. So this is a very, very dangerous teaching. I'm glad that the sister asked me to do a video on this. I wasn't originally going to do a video on this, but uh, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this cleared up some questions, uh, some confusion that has definitely been sown by Witness Lee and his followers. I hope that this was a blessing to you. I hope it was a warning and an exhortation to you to truly fear God, because it is by the fear of the Lord that man departs from evil. Proverbs chapter 9, the fear of the Lord. Any teaching like Witness Lee's that is contrary to the fear of the Lord and that squelches, that suppresses the fear of the Lord and enables and strengthens you to continue in your sin is of the devil. And that's why I call Witness Lee a, not a God man, he was a devil man, and he's in hell. Please do not follow in his error. I did for many years. Shame on me. But I repented. Praise God. Through the speaking, the faithful speaking of righteous men who were bold in their God to speak the truth and weren't trying to tickle people's ears and comfort them in their sin. Praise God for his mercy. May God have mercy on you. May you have ears to hear what has been spoken here. Don't believe the lie of once saved, always saved. Don't believe the lie of Witness Lee's version of purgatory. Read your Bible. See what the Bible says for itself. Read it. Believe it. Obey it. It's for your own good. Again, I hope that this was an exhortation, a warning, and a blessing to you and edifying to you. May God bless you all.